This one, I don't care how good that Pum Pum is. This is what men want above any Pum Pum on the planet. All right, la all right, ladies. This, this is Alex. Your talk it's not the same. It's not the same people. I lost my talk stick back in Mexico. <laughs> this is Alex, your degraded dating coach. And um, today we're gonna talk about seven, five things that men want more than sex. Now, mind you, this video was inspired by my homie Matthew Coast. He made a video about seven things, seven what men want more than sex. And I was like, you know what? What do I want more than sex? Okay. <laughs> What do I want more than sex? It cannot be anything bad at all, right? No. All I want is happiness. <laughs> I will never, ever, ever abuse my power, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right, let's begin. Look, man. Um, by the way, we're having a seminar in New York City next month. Um, click on the description down below to attend. Um, it's gonna be a, um, it's gonna be fifty dollars to attend. Um, but the day before the seminar, we're gonna have a free, a free um, meetup, so you guys could meet Father Alex, and I could put my hands on your head and bless you, because Father Alex could bless you. Lord said, "Lay thy hands on my people and bless them with thy name." That's right, people. So yeah, we have that. Um, okay, let's begin. Look, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you to the fellow Patreon supporter who asked this question. Well, I'm lying to you, okay? I found out myself, okay? I lied, all right? Um, the first one is this, man. Well, men, let's first get this out the way. The first thing that men want, understand when you're a child, your, your, your body has a lot of dopamine. That's why you enjoy a lot. That's why you get excited a lot. Your body is just experiencing new things and releasing dopamine everywhere. You're, you're in shock by the world. So the first thing that needs to get out is the dopaminergic desire, and that is sex, which we know that's not what he would, that's not the topic of this video, but then the next thing after sex is power. In fact, you can say power is above sex, to be honest with you. The men want power and respect. Now, this is one of the most unhealthiest desires to have, because when you want, uh, when you want power, you're willing to break the rules. You're willing to abuse people. You're willing to become narcissistic. So this is the dark side of what men want outside of sex. Because you, you, you could just want sex and hit, on, hit up an escort, right? Go, go down to Mexico City, download, seek an arrangement, hit up your personal assistant to message them for you, give them a price, have your personal assistant give you their, their number, then you message them. It's not like I do that. <laughs> Father Alex, we heard what you said. You're going to hell. Shut up, Melissa, okay? Stop judging me. So yeah, men want power and respect. And in term, and that's why a lot of dictators, that's why people, that's why they are dictators. You have to understand the human animal is has a genetic code inside of them that that natural selection selected the ones that wanted more simply because it pro it, it promoted your genes. Just think about it. Which animal do you think will have more success? The animal that gets satisfied as soon as it gets what it wants or the human animal that gets something and it wants more and it wants more and it wants more. The one that will succeed in passing on your genes more is the is a psychotic one. So that gene, the humans that were just happy with the little things they got, most likely they got killed off by the dictator and his gene got passed on the most. So it's inside of every single human to want to control, to want to dominate, particularly men, because the more dominant you are, the more sex you have for the most part. And in, in, in apes, the, the alpha male is the male that fought the most, that beat them the most, and that intimidates his, um, his, his competitors the most. So by you having an intimidating aura, which, which is what power gives you, it gives you more ability to get resources. It gives you the ability to manipulate this, to manipulate that, because power and money is an emotional quality and you're able to control people through that so that's the number one thing that men want outside of money outside of sex is power and which can mean pop which can mean pop blah, 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 which can mean money military whatever the fuck you call it three girlfriends five girl, i don't care whatever that guy interprets as, as power another thing 
is that what a guy wants is like I said, it's it's based on where he is in life. So this is the this is the first phase of what guys usually do, right? Like like in Mark's video, which he showed, which is pretty brilliant to be honest with you. He talked about how children have hierarchies, even when they're childs, right? They have hierarchies. You know who's the loser, you know who's cool. That's before they even develop their sex hormones in terms of like when they, re- when, when they wanna fuck, right? That's before that. So just that, which shows you the origins of humans before you even wanting sex, they just want power. They wanna be on top, right? So that's the first one. Um, the second thing, outside of this, this is when a man begins to mature, which hopefully, Father Alex will maybe one day, become this individual <laughs> oh shit this is kind of scary i'm not gonna lie that was a scary look the second thing is um they want to feel chemistry this is the most powerful one now outside of sex outside of one in power this is the most powerful one a guy will give up a a, a model looking chick for a 300 pound gorilla if, she, if he has chemistry with her <laughs> wait wait that sounds wrong a guy will give up a girl who's like a 10 for a girl who's an 8, like just to give you an example, if, she, if he has great chemistry with her. Chemistry will allow you to, to look over how the person looks. As long as this person is, is functional, right, you will look over that. If a guy has chemistry with you, he might cheat on you. <laughs> he might cheat on you, but he'll never leave you, <laughs> right? Because, look, unfortunately, some guys love you even if they cheat on you. Like, one of the biggest reasons why guys why guys go to um, prostitutes is for blowjobs. It's not that they don't love their girl, but that but that the girl that he's they're with doesn't want to give a blowjob. I'm not even kidding with you. Like, it, it, they even, even prostitutes say this. And, and it's kind of like, I kind of understand, like, it's kind of like, judge me if you guys want to, right? But let's just put it this way. If I have a girl, and this is why I don't have a girlfriend, right? So it could be an explanation. But if I have a girl and she doesn't like to suck dick, right? Or or she or she finds it a chore and she loves me and so she does it. I don't want her to do it because she feels it's a chore. I would never ever put her in that position, girls. No, I would just take a flight. <laughs> I I just take a flight to Mexico, <laughs> girl. I'm going. I'll be back. Nah, I'm just kidding with you. But the point is, is that guys go to escorts because they want to do it. Escorts are, some of them are just, you know, they just like doing it, to be honest with you. I'm not even kidding. I mean, I don't know. But um, it, it's just that the way I see it is that I don't want to force you to do it, you know. But that's why I'm not, I'm not in a relationship. So who knows, right? So, yeah, that's one thing. I, I went off the topic. Chemistry. Chemistry, every person wants chemistry. Because chemistry is what a lot is, is, the, is, is I believe, I haven't looked into it. But chemistry, I guess, is what oxytocin feels like at its highest. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. Don't quote me on that, but that's my theory on it. And, chem- and and oxytocin is a is a is a is the feeling that social animals have to have in order to cooperate and to be with people. And that is actually a deep and intense genetic desire that every human has, the desire to connect. So outside, well, outside of wanting sex and, and power, I think it's equal with the desire to connect. The problem is, is that dopamine, when your dopamine is high, it suppresses your oxytocin. When your oxytocin is high, it suppresses your dopamine and your testosterone. Look into it. There's a book called The Molecule of More that talks about that. So you cannot be in, the, in a desire to connect while you're in a desire to get dopamine. Why? Because dopamine is about the future. Dopamine is about the extra personal, what's outside of your reach. Oxytocin is about what's in front of you. What do you touch? Your loved one, cuddling with your girl and stuff like that. Dopamine is about getting something. Oxytocin is about appreciating what's in front of you. So let's just say you're, you, you really wanna go to a basketball game and you cannot wait to get there. That's your dopamine. You can't, I cannot wait, I cannot wait. I wanna get there, I wanna get there, I wanna get there. So because you want to get there, you don't, you can't even appreciate the sounds of those evil birds, the smell of the flowers, the, the, the yelling of the homeless person. You cannot appreciate what's in front of you because you're so focused on getting there. 
So as you see, both things cannot function at the same time. So as soon as a guy gets over that dopamine phase of wanting fun all the time, or as soon as those, as soon as those um, neurochemicals um, um, become exhausted, because they definitely do become exhausted, that's why celebrities take a lot of drugs, because they have access to all the pleasures, oxytocin will go up. You begin to maybe get into religion to a pre or even meditation, which is appreciating what's in front of you, oxytocin. Maybe you'll want to settle down with a girl, right? And you don't even care the way she looks. That's why you see a lot of good-looking celebrity guys with subpar women, right? I mean, I'm sorry. I hate to say that, right? So that's it. Well, subpar, when I mean subpar, I mean compared to the exes because they usually just date models. But when they settle down, they date average women, right? Um, it's kind of like average women are like the simps of the world because a woman will bang at all the Chads and Tyrone, but as soon as she wants to settle down, she'll find Bob, right? It's almost like the same thing, to be honest with you. Um, by the way, I saw myself high yesterday making a video, and I was like, yo, I have a lot of facial expressions. I was Googling, anybody can answer, why do some people have more facial expressions than others? Because when I was watching myself on YouTube smoking weed, I was like, yo, this motherfucker is weird. <laughs> it's a weird cat, bro. Um, the next thing, they want to feel safe to be themselves. Um, you got to understand, most guys are putting on an act of being masculine. They want a girl where they can finally relax and be themselves around them, right? By the way... Um, I'm just letting you know, if you guys want to learn more about this, I actually have a course that's coming up called Male Nature, but I also have a few other courses, people, that's right. I have a course called Natural Chemistry, which is for women who are, who are in relationships and want to strengthen the bond with the guy they're talking to. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I have another course called The Psychological Game of Attraction, which is a course for women who are single and want to get the strategy of how to meet a guy. That, that course is particularly for women who struggle with the dating process and who want to find who want to find a husband or a boyfriend i will pretty much tell you it's, it's a if you watch it like this is the course if you watch it if you just look at the if you just watch it, you know exactly what i'm talking about it's almost like you're being coached by by father alex himself okay so go check it out in the description down below or else something bad's gonna happen to the channel so yeah um they want to feel safe all right and a lot of the times Guys get a girlfriend to almost replicate the relationship they had with their mothers. That's why you even notice when he's in, in your arms, he'll act like a kid, right? He'll like scratch me in my fucking back. Like shit that his parents did when he was a kid, you'll notice that he'll want you to do with him, right? So they just want to feel connected. They want to relive the years they had of unconditional love with their parents. And so when they find a girl who they like, they want to find a way to live those years. Uh, four, they want to trust you. Every, most guys don't trust women. Why? Because they've been hurt. But that does not mean they, that does not mean they don't want to trust you. They want to find a woman who they trust. They want to find a woman who they can feel comfortable with, who they can feel comfortable expression, expressing their emotions, right? Because when you're single, you have your friends, but that's it right you want to have the opposite sex somebody who is intimate with you where you could express yourself with and somebody who you could trust in general to be honest with you somebody who you can live your life that's when a guy is starting to get really mature and the last thing is that they want to feel a sense of purpose in fact i think a sense of purpose is what every human secretly wants and that sense of purpose could come in many different forms. It can come in the form of wanting a family. It can come in the form of wanting to achieve a certain goal. It could come in the form of wanting to discover something, to contribute, or, or, having, or, having, or having activities that they do that they put their emotions. It could be writing for them. It could be reading. It could be painting. It could be playing sports. They want to find a way to fill their time with something that's meaningful. And this type of person is a man on his purpose. And this type of guy is a little difficult to control because they will put you above, they will put their purpose above you. And you're going to find that almost like you're going to be a little jealous at the fact that you cannot beat his purpose, right? But these are the five, and I'll be honest with you, if a guy doesn't have this, you're going to get turned off. If a guy doesn't have a sense of purpose, as much as it might frustrate you, it will turn you off because it's his independence. It's his independence that makes you like him more. It's his independence that makes you interested in him more. Um, and when he doesn't have a sense of purpose, they'll just become needy. They'll be all up on you. You'll be the one that has to push him away rather than you having to chase him. I don't know if you want that. To be honest with you, that's up to you. But those are the five things that I believe that men want um, outside of more than sex, in my opinion. 
Um, it's just that sex is such a predominant emotion that they think they want sex more, but in reality, the more they'll do it, they'll notice it's not as satisfying as they imagine. It is satisfying, don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> It definitely is, right? But it doesn't have that long-lasting satisfaction that having a sense of purpose produces. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex, your toxic dating coach. I'm going to every city in the United States, goddammit. Every single city that's big, that's not Denver or fucking other cities. If you're in a big city, most likely I'm going to see you purchase the tickets right now before they sell out or else, okay? All right, ladies, this is your toxic dating coach. May the toxic force be with you. <laughs> all right ladies so finally i have released my second course for women which is natural chemistry this course is a five week course five week course where every week you're gonna get a new set of videos based on based on specific issues this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man this will help you Create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry. No more short-term partners. No more being fooled. Why? Because I will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week, but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being too attached, signs that he's the wrong guy, signs that he's a narcissist, signs that he's a mama's boy, signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature, I will come, that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The Transformational Seminar in a Pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar, and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right, ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you. Free videos. All right, so you could just check it out for free and then you could get out. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so and on top of that, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. No questions asked. That's right, no questions asked. I don't mind. I just want you guys to check it out because I know when you take one look, you're gonna want to buy it. I could promise you, just like my other course, um, the psychological, the psychological game of attraction, it was a hit. You're gonna love this one. This one is not about manipulation, this is genuine natural chemistry. Order it now, all right? I'll see you guys inside. Peace out.